Oh, I got it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that there is the hong. It's the traditional greeting of we the Maori. Slight pressing of noses twice. We Maori do believe that when the noses meet, exchanging of the life breath, solidifying a bond of friendship created between you, our Manuhiri, our visitors, and we the Tangata Whenua, the people of the land here today. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin your Maori cultural experience this morning with my family, Modi Oho. At this stage, I kindly ask throughout the entirety of our ceremony, please remain totally silent, just as a mark of respect to my family and our customs that are about to unfold. You're most welcome to use your cameras, your video recording devices. That is absolutely catered by. That is fine. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to our beautiful geyser city of Rotorua. In particular, very warm welcome here to Te Puya. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kia ora! Kia ora! Bit more enthusiasm, ladies. <laughs> Kia ora! Kia ora! Behind the chief, my dear. Where's the shell, Mama? Exit pathway. 
Welcome to the stage now, my family, Modi inviting you now inside our Whare Tāpere, our house of entertainment. Where we the family on stage will see the
energy up on stage this morning. We share and demonstrate for you all the Nga Whakaraka, our traditional stick hand. Firstly, the tirako, the long stick. Manipulated up, down, and around the upper body, giving flexibility to the torso, all for the use of our handheld weapons. Highlighted then by our short stick game, Nga Titi Tore, the sticks being passed from player to player, the idea to help increase hand and eye coordination. We now like to soften the mood. Share with you now New Zealand's most famous Māori love song. This song tells of a romance between two of our ancestors that resided in the Rotorua district several hundred years ago. The beautiful Chief Benes Hinemo, now she came from the village of Ōwhata, a small settlement located on the eastern shores of our lake. The handsome young warrior Tutanekai, he came from the island of Makoya. That is the small island situated out in the middle of our lake. Now one day at a tribal gathering, ladies and gentlemen, the young couple met, of course, and instantly in love. However, due to tribal social differences, their romance was forbidden, so the young couple were separated, never to see one another again. But as we all know, the power of love will always prevail. One night under the cover of darkness, Hinemo, being a very courageous and very determined young Māori maiden, stole down to the lake's edge with the intentions of taking a canoe and paddling across our lake to be reunited with Tutanakai. Unfortunately for her, her father, Umukari, who just so happened to be the rangatira, the <coughs> chief of the tribe, had known well of Hinemo's intentions that evening, so early
ladies at the front and all the number of rows behind. <coughs> Spreading out utilising the whole stage. Print this in the middle. <laughs> okay, ladies, what do you have in your hand? We're pinching out the important. Hoi! 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 Now you're going to hold the foy like so, the pom pom and the palm of your writing hand. Excellent. What we're going to do next.